health systems across the world, uh, particularly those in low and middle income countries, uh, currently face a number of concerns and problems. Uh, whether we look at emergent issues such as the Ebola epidemic in three West African countries that has captured a lot of attention, or whether we look at uh, incidents such as uh, sterilization deaths in, um, uh, in a uh, government camp in uh, Chhattisgarh state in India, uh, we, we find that it's not usually one cause that has uh, you know, led to these uh, unfortunate events, but a number of interconnected uh, systemic and policy issues that are at the root of some of these uh, major catastrophes. One of the common misconceptions about health systems is that they are synonymous with health services. Uh, actually, that's not the case. Health systems are everything that goes on along with health services that goes behind health services that exist to support health services, the processes, the people, the organizations, the resources that go into supporting the delivery of health services and also into protecting people from uh, shocks, from financial shocks, from health shocks. Health systems also exist not just at one level but at multiple levels. You, you have global health systems, national health systems, local health systems and health systems also operate both in the uh, state and non-state sectors. Health systems matter because they are important for delivering high quality health care to people who need them most. But health systems also matter because they are an essential part of the social fabric. Health systems are also employers and workplaces, often for large numbers of people. Uh, and they are social institutions that are built into the fabric of society. They can't be separated from social and political factors. They are influenced by each of those social and political and economic factors. And overall, how health systems perform and how they behave is often a reflection of society's values and how we look after each other, how we care for each other as a community. Health systems are not machines that can simply take in inputs and produce uh, predetermined outputs. They are interconnected uh, entities, uh, systems that can sometimes produce unexpected outcomes uh, and they are also subject to a range of social, political and economic considerations. The good news is that health systems are researchable. They do exist a number of methodologies, approaches, tools for us to be able to research health systems effectively. Unfortunately though, uh, the people sometimes who are most motivated to research health systems don't have access to the full range of these sophisticated approaches, methods and tools. The field that helps us think about health systems systematically is called health policy and systems research. This is a cross-disciplinary field, it's been developed, it's evolved from multiple influences from the social sciences, from public health and from epidemiology. And each of these different influences that come to bear on health policy and systems research help us to think about health systems in different and complementary ways. So there's a clear need to build capacity for health policy and systems research in many low and middle income countries and India is no exception. Uh, there have been many efforts towards building capacity in this area and uh, the Public Health Foundation of India has uh, been taking the lead in some of these areas. Uh, PHFI uh, is the nodal institution for the Alliance for Health Policy and Systems Research, which is an alliance based in uh, WHO headquarters in Geneva. And we are undertaking a number of efforts in this direction. Probably the most prominent of these efforts has been our work with the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare to set up uh, the National Knowledge Platform, which is an emerging uh, uh, project that we are developing with the ministry which will indigenously support, which will create an indigenous mechanism to support health systems research and public health research, which is oriented towards the needs of health systems as they currently exist in India. Uh, for its work with the nodal institutes, though PHFI doesn't just work in isolation, uh, one of our major collaborative initiatives which we've undertaken with 10 other institutions uh, working on health policy and systems research in India is the Keystone Initiative. In Keystone, our approach to building capacity has been to try and think about activating a community of health policy and systems researchers who will come together from different parts of India uh, and who will think about how we can best address uh, real world needs of health systems and of people. Twenty Keystone fellowships have been offered to early to mid career researchers and health professionals drawn from government offices, from NGOs, from universities all across India they will be coming together for the first Keystone course in Delhi starting in 23rd February. We look forward very much to welcoming them, to engaging with them over, over the next year uh, and joining them in this initiative to build 
the health policy and systems research community in India.